Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the scene, not a new league was starting, nothing to binge on their screens. Tired of BDSP, coaches needed their spark restored. No new drafts left the coaches incredibly bored. Within layers of dust sitting a hidden gem, Wi-Fi coaches finally found it right before them. The APA returns, hoping to return to what it once used to be. And how did they do that? Well, they had to bring back little old me. I pick up where I once left off. The three draft system was season seven's fate. Oh good, I loved that last time. Our hero let out a scoff, words filled with hate. But with a sour attitude came new pressure on a stake. You see, in seasons prior, our hero fell and wallowed away. But with new growth since last time, our hero's here to stay. So with an energized attitude and the league's updated shtick, our hero fell short with the very last pick. So far down the list, surely nothing I'd get would be broken. But by the end of this poem, you will see that I have misspoken. Both in excitement and confidence, with this pick I'm 100%, as I am fly like a dragon, some may say Maleficent. With pick number one, I took Hydreigon, the dark dragon demon. All she has to do this season is be an absolute heathen. An amazing wall breaker all the way since the black and white days, Hydra really knows how to put an opponent in their place. With the first wheel of the draft, Hydra needed a good pairing. Comfort was the name of the game, nothing too daring. One after another, with zero regrets of who I took, please welcome back our good friend Jungle Book. The Gen 8 starter, often a back wheel staple, in our hero's hands, he is more than capable. Setting the grassy terrain so he heals instead of dies, Rillaboom will help lead us to the first place prize. Many hours had passed, both dawn and dusk have come and gone. After our first two picks, we needed some bulk to go with the brawn. Very unoriginal, but of course we drafted Stitch. Why of course even Owen had exclaimed, Draft something new, ya bitch! But Swampert and I, we have been through thick and thin. He has helped me bring in, oh, so many a win. Hazard's team support, why I was glad he was bestowed. And I just felt he was a better fit than Seismitoad. Our next Disney character stems from the great Wreck-It Ralph. He's here to help the team go north, not south. Cute as a button, why she's Vanellope von Schweetz. Or in Pokemon terms, we drafted Rotom Heat. More momentum, hazard removal, and more. Might I say, we got a kick-ass core. Deadly dual stabs paired with a nasty plot. Rotoms over heats are gonna be coming in hot. So once again we waited. Pick after pick did pass. Then I realized my options for speed were kind of ass. But there was one Lake Guardian who I was fond of myself. So for our 115 speed tier, we grabbed Ezelf. Speed was the main reason, but there's oh so much more. Although it didn't really help with my bug we core. Azelf's offense and support capabilities made it oh so versatile. What are my plans on using them all? Well, you'll find out in a little while. We needed a steel type, best defensive typing on the board, and for a round 6 pick, I think we scored. R2D2 once again playing for the Landorus. This is definitely a Kirby team. And don't worry guys, I promise I won't do the scream. Right now, I love my team, but I saw something quite eye-opening. A fleet of formers who are fearful of fighting. So that was our next target, something to patch that. And that is why we welcome Benny the Bat. Defog, Fighting Resist, and Elite Speed. Benny brings everything I think the team needs. I'm actually quite sad, I only get this team for 4 weeks? But we gotta make the most out of Benny's ear piercing screech. What could our team need now? We have so much great stuff. Why that brings me into my next pick, I grab Slurpuff. Webs weren't needed, but they are quite nice. I just needed something sweet to pair with all this spice. A thick fairy to help with dark dragon and fighting, which right now my team is pretty inviting. Good fairies this late are hard to come by, it's actually kind of dumb. I wonder if I'll claim a victim to the deathly belly drum. I had gone all draft without being sniped, our poor hero exclaimed, until it came to our fighting type, when all I wanted got obtained. How must I fight now? All I have is super power Rilla Boomin. All until Haluja's unburden came in a zoomin. Now you might be asking yourself, how on earth did you budget this? You must have asked Santa for some extra points this Christmas. Our team is fairly well priced, and with the budget I'm actually quite ecstatic. 
but I don't do finances. I'm here for grassy seed acrobatics. With one more piece, I had to follow a staple rule in Gen 8 draft. You gotta draft a normal type, unless you're asking to get clapped. She's as cute as a button and thick as a marshmallow. With our final 5 points, we drafted Audino. Low tier normal that's here to scare away ghosts. That can also pass fat wishes to heal our team the most. I used to think she sucked, but now I don't hate her. Why? Because of the brain dead ability called Regenerator. Part 1 of this fairy tale has come to an end. Likes, comments, and subscriptions why you all should send. Why I love this team, all its power, and all its might. And with all of that done, I wish you all a good night.